We'll welcome into the garden here in a bit, Norfolk, and we're going to show you how to uh, collect and harvest peony poppy seeds. If you've grown these during the course of the summer, by this time in July the pods are starting to really dry off and open. And you can see at the head of these, the little openings just starting. Let me get that in focus. There we go. Little portals where the seeds normally come out from. When they're completely dry and brown, now's a good time to start collecting them. And an ideal container is a clean, dry, well done Kate. A decent sized piece of Tupperware. She's got her snips ready to cut some of these seed heads off. But you need to be careful because the seeds are held in the base of these pods and they'll come out very uh, freely once they're uh, tipped upside down. So she's just gonna carefully snip the heads in an upright position and drop them into this container. You can see as she does that, they're starting to drop out their seeds. You need to do this on a really dry day after a good sunny afternoon when they're completely dry. If there's any moisture in there, the seeds tend to stick together and uh, won't freely come out. And then you need to leave them again in an open container without sealing this for ideally another 12 to 24 hours to ensure that they are completely dry. If any of these seed heads have still got a little bit of moisture in them and aren't completely ripened, again, by just leaving them in a dry environment, they will uh, open up and dispatch their seeds over the next couple of days. So there we go. A good collection. And just look at the amount of seed when I tip that one up. Now the other thing that you will get, <coughs> excuse me, when you do this, quite a few of these little spiders, and again, you can just help them out, give them a good chance to emerge from the seed pods where they've been clinging on or hiding, and uh, let those go back into the garden without bringing them into the house is a very good idea. But these seeds will give us a really good collection of... Uh, nice mixed poppies. These do tend to hybridise so we can't actually remember what colour this one was. We should have filmed it and I'm sure if I look back on some of my videos we'll be able to tell what colour this is but it will have cross-pollinated with others in the garden so you will get a mixed colour. It will be dominated by the colour of the uh, parent plant but you must expect quite a few hybridised mixed colours to come out of this and if this was a double Again, some of these hybridised or uh, F1 hybrids may not seed true at all. So this is a great idea with uh, a natural occurring uh, poppy that's seeded itself into your garden. You can see this one not quite ripe yet, hasn't opened up at the top. But again, if we just leave that to dry with the rest, it should dispatch its seeds and open up over the course of around a week. Wow, that is a good seed harvest. Yeah. Need to get all those little spiders out which are running around in there. And that's it. Out. We'll continue harvesting these and uh, may not all be ripe at the, the exact same time. And uh, we'll collect that. them over the oh, course of July. Yeah, I've got all the seed in there. Some of them have uh, had yep. some birds on them, I yeah. think, pecking them, haven't they? Amazing, isn't it? How many seeds come out? And we'll continue to collect this seed and dry it off. And then once it's completely dry, store it in an airtight container. Again, Tupperware or a Chinese takeaway container is ideal for this. And uh, make sure you label it, because a lot of this fine seed, particularly once you've put it away and cleaned out all the seed pods, it's quite difficult to identify what you've got. So a label is absolutely essential. Thanks for watching.